Good day everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. In our last two videos, our focus was on plane shapes. So today, we'll be focusing on past Y equations that relate to the topic plane shapes. Now for the first example, we have what is the area of the shape below? What is the area of the shape below? And this shape is a composite shape. It therefore means to calculate the area, I will have to do this, separate this, and also do the same thing here. That means in this case now you have seen that we have three different shapes now. Now look at the first one, this one A, B and C. So for the first one A, we have 9 centimeters and 3 centimeters. And you know that so that for the area of a rectangle, we have length times breadth. So this will give me 9 times 3. This will give me 27 centimeters square. Now, in this case now, we can also do the same thing with the shapes C. For C, we have, this is 2 centimeters and this is 9 centimeters. You see this is 9, this will also be what? 9 centimeters. So in this case now, I will have 2 centimeters and 9 centimeters. So for the area, we have length times the breadth, which will give us 9 times 2. This is equals to 18 centimeters square. And for the final one, B. Now look at this diagram again. A, for the first figure, we are taking out 3 centimeters from this. So it therefore means that this will be 8 minus 3, which will give us 5. Also, 2 centimeters has been taken out. It therefore means we have 5 minus 2 centimeters. This will give us 3 centimeters. It therefore means that the length of the B will be 3 centimeters, while the breadth will be 2 centimeters. So in that case now, we'll be having a figure like this. 3 centimeters, 2 centimeters. So the area will be length times breadth. The length is 3, while the breadth is 2. So 3 times 2 will give us 6 centimeters. Now, 6 centimeters square, sorry. Now, to calculate the area of the shape itself, I will add the area of A, B, and C. So for A now, to calculate the area, we have the area of A plus B plus C. So for A, we had the area as 27. Then for B, the area as 6. For C, we had the area as 18, all in centimeters square. So if we add 23 plus 6 plus 18, let's do that together, 27 plus 18 plus 6. So this will give us 7 plus 8 will give us 15. 15 plus 6 will give us 21. 1, 2. So 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 1, 5. That is 51. So this will be, give us 51 centimeters square. It means that the area of the shape is 51 centimeters square. Alright, question number two. The parallel sides of a trapezium are 11 centimeters and 13 centimeters. If the area of the trapezium is 84 centimeters square, calculate the distance between the parallel lines. Now, in this case, now, the trapezium looks like this. Alright, so this is 11 centimeters and this is 13 centimeters now in this case now we are being asked to calculate the distance between the parallel lines which is also indirectly to calculate the height now don't forget that the area of 
a trapezium is 1 over 2 a plus b times the height now a is 11 centimeters the b is 13 centimeters so i'll have 1 over 2 now from the question a has been given as 84 centimeters square so 84 centimeters square so in brackets a is 11 b is 13 times the h we are actually looking for which is the distance between the parallel lines now in this case now 84 is equals to 1 over 2 11 plus 13 is 24 that means times 24 times h so now in this case now 2 goes into itself 1 goes into 24 that is 12 times so 84 centimeters square is equals to 12 centimeters times h so i'm going to divide both sides by the coefficient of the unknown which is 12 centimeters now in this case now i'll have 84 centimeters square divided by 12 centimeters is equals to 12 centimeters times h divided by 12 centimeters so this cancels this so in this case now centimeter one centimeter cancels the square so now 84 divided by 12 gives us 7 so this will give me 7 centimeters is equals to h h is equals to 7 centimeters it therefore means that the distance between the parallel lines is 7 centimeters all right for the next example the area of a square is r centimeter square write down an expression for half its perimeter in terms of r now from the question now if r is equals to s square that means you have to find the square root of both sides to find s find the square root of both sides so this will be square root of r is equals to square root of s square this cancels this so we have s is equals to square root of r and we all know that the perimeter is equals to perimeter of a square is 4 s all right so now we are going to substitute s here so because s is equals to square root of r so we are going to substitute s so now s equals to square root of r wherever we find s we put square root of r now so p therefore means that p is equals to 4 s in this case is square root of r all right so the equation says write down an equation for half its perimeter this is the perimeter so half of the perimeter i'm, I'm going to divide both sides by 2 so now in this case now i have p over 2 is equal to 4 root r over 2 so now in this case now 2 goes into itself 1 2 goes into 4 that's 2 times it therefore means that half its perimeter is going to be sorry 2 root r so half of its perimeter is 2 root r all right for our final example the length of a rectangle is three times its width if the perimeter is 72 centimeters calculate the width of the rectangle in the question we have that the length is 3 times the breadth that's 3 times b which is 3b now the perimeter from the question is 72 centimeters then the breadth has not been given so you can use x in that case all right so the perimeter of a rectangle of a rectangle is 
2 in bracket a plus b all right or we can use 2 in bracket the l plus b in this case since we are using length and breadth in this case now in this case now the perimeter has been given as 72 centimeters so 72 centimeters is equals to 2 the length in this case now is 3b because it's 3 times the breadth plus the breadth is b so I have 72 centimeters is equal to 2 in bracket 3 plus 1 so 3b plus b is 4b so in this case now I will have 72 centimeters is equal to 2 times the 4b is 8b so I'm going to divide both sides by 8 to find b which is the breadth so now 72 centimeters divided by 8 is equals to 8b over 8 okay so 72 divided by 8 will give us 9 centimeters b so b being the breadth is 9 centimeters come to the end of our lesson today on past questions, past my equations under plane shapes. I hope you learned a lot. Please kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting mathematics videos. Thank you.